Hello class, this is Mr. Kane today with My Daily Math Coach. Today we're going to be doing some beginning algebra and we're going to do beginning algebra today with division. We have also have some other videos to beginning algebra with addition, uh, beginning algebra with subtraction and multiplication. And if you find this video helpful, please subscribe. Thank you so much. And pass this along to your friends and family so they can benefit as well. Well, let's begin our lesson today. All right, here is a problem. We have some number, we're going to say blank, some number, divided by 2 equals 5. Now, in the world of algebra... And when you get a little bit older, this might say x. x divided by 2 equals 5. Don't let that throw you. That's really the same thing as blank or some number divided by 2 equals 5. And there's two strategies that I recommend to my students. Uh, one of them is called Guess, Check, and Revise. And I know if you've watched the previous videos on addition or multiplication or subtraction, then this will be a familiar strategy for you. What you do is just pick a number. You guess. Let's just pick a number. How about 7? Seven? 7. 7 divided by 2, does that equal 5? Well, no. 7 divided by 2 is actually a decimal number. It's 3.5. Now, if you don't know what a decimal number is, that's okay. Um, we can try another number. Let's pick another number. How about 8? <clears throat> If we put 8 in here, 8 divided by 2 is the number 4. So do we have to be higher or lower than 8? Yes, we have to be higher than 8. Because 8 divided by 2 is 4. We need to be higher than 4. So let's try, let's try 9. Does 9 work? If we put 9 in our blank, does that work? 9 divided by 2? No, that's 4.5, another decimal number. So we need to go higher than 9. And let's try 10. What's 10 divided into two groups? The answer is 5. It checks out. 10 divided by 2 separated into two groups is 5. Because you can have two groups of 5, 5 and 5, then which will equal 10. All right, now that's guess, check, and revise. There's one other strategy I like to use. This strategy is called opposite operations, and it works for most of the operations. So let's just say, I'm going to pick a different color here. We know that division has an opposite. The opposite of division is multiplication. That's right. Division and multiplication. So what we do is we take our number 5, and we just multiply it times 2. 5 times 2 will give you an answer of 10. And just like we found with guess, check, and revise, 10 is your answer. Because 10 divided into two groups. That's really what division is, right? It's putting it into two equal groups equals your answer of 5. So, I hope that was helpful for you. If so, go ahead and click the link down here and subscribe and share this with friends and family so that they can help. Also, you can check us out on the web and see the services that we provide at www.mydailymathcoach.com. So, this is Mr. Kane signing out, and I will see you in the next video.